Today I am sharing Piper Chen Sings by Philippa Sue, published by Random House. We all get nervous at times, and it's hard to overcome, especially when it's in front of a lot of people. Piper Chen and her grandmother find a way to help Piper sing in front of a lot of people. I hope you enjoy it. Chen Sings by Philippa Sue. This is Piper Chen. Piper loves to sing. She twirls through rooms, bounces up the stairs, and hops foot to foot, always singing out a tune. She sings good morning to the peaking sun and good night to the cresting moon. She sings to the orange-chested robins whistling outside her window and to the chanting frogs in the faraway pond, and they sing back to her. Piper performs for her closest friends with Spotty on backup always. She listens to Nene's homemade Jazu pop as they cook and hums with pleasure as she eats them. She hears the world's rich sounds as beats and rhythms and adds her voice to its orchestra. On bright spring morning, Piper scoots to school, slapping her foot against the pavement and bopping her head to the beat. When Miss Lopez takes attendance, Piper belts out, Here! She practices her whistle when she colors and cuts and hums quietly while looking for the perfect book. In her favorite class, Piper stands tall and is focused. She feels the chorus of voices vibrating through her. When the class takes a break, Mr. Harris asks Piper if she wants to sing one of the solos in the spring sing. Piper lets her excitement answer, yes! Yet when they start practicing again, something doesn't feel right. Piper is suddenly frozen and she can only sing in a worried whisper. If you feel nervous, Piper, that is normal, Mr. Harris assures her. You have the choice to sing a solo or sing with the class. Just tell me what you decide next time we meet. When Piper returns home from, the, from school that day, she does not twirl through the rooms, bounce up the stairs, or hop foot to foot. Piper is not singing. Listening to the tune from Nene's piano, Piper does not hum along. She does not sing one note. Nene is sitting upright at the piano bench, as she often does, one foot resting on the pedal, never wiggling or even rattling her teacup. She starts playing their favorite song. Piper, I know you are there, but you aren't singing. Piper climbs next to Nene and tells her about the solo. What if I forget the words? What if I sound like a frog, she says. When we practiced, I felt like butterflies were having a dance party in my belly. What if they come back? Nene pauses her playing and smiles. Hootie, she says to Piper. What is hootie, asks Piper. It is the Chinese word for butterfly, answers Nene. I remember being your age the very first time I touched piano keys, playing along to the rain's beat against the window. Nene plays the keys to sound like raindrops, and Piper giggles. Before my first piano recital, the butterflies danced in me too. Go away, Hootie, I begged, but they just flew faster. They would only settle once I began to play. Eventually, I realized the butterflies visited to tell me when something exciting was ahead. Nene explains, they flapped fast when I left China and traveled to America and I felt them fluttering the day I graduated from music school. They flew through me when I married your yee yee. They hovered over us when we brought your father home for the first time, and they twirled unstoppably on the day I became a U.S. citizen, she says. Now when they greet me, I greet them back. Hello, Hootie. Ni ho. Piper, do you want to sing the solo? Piper blinks and thinks and nods. Nene resumes playing their favorite song, and Piper finally sings along. Weeks later, on the night of the show, Piper feels the butterflies flapping their wings and flying side to side. When it's her class's turn to sing, they walk out slowly. Piper sees the spotlight shining like the bright, welcoming sun and its reflection on stage like the inviting moon. She hums to herself, hello, Hootie. Piper steps into the glow. The butterflies rest and she sings. She sings like she sings to her stuffed animals and Spotty the dog, the sun and moon and stars, the trees and birds and frogs. She sings because she loves to sing and her love is alive in that moment, fluttering through her, her family and friends and her loving Nene, fluttering up and out into the world. You have been listening to Piper Chen Sings by Philippa Sue.